today is going to be a very interesting day. I've just left for work uh, this morning, um, as far as Caitlin knows. But um, little does she know that today is actually going to be the day um, that we get engaged and that I propose to her. So I'm about to ring Caitlin's dad um, just to ask for his blessing. Um, stay tuned and hopefully he says yes. <laughs> Hey mate, um, but mate, I just wanted to let you know that uh, I am going to ask Caitlin to marry me shortly. Um, and I just wanted to get your get your blessing before I do so. Yeah, no, no, no problem, there, mate. No problem. Um, thanks very much. That'd be really good. That's that's really good. No problem at all. I I appreciate that, mate. Very very happy. Dear Caitlin, here we go. Today is the big day. There are a million thoughts, feelings and emotions running through my mind as I write this. The thought of you in your dress as you come down the aisle, the butterflies in the stomach and the nerve, nervous tapping of the foot were also pure excitement of getting to celebrate us with the people we love. If you're feeling nervous, close your eyes and remember back to the day I proposed to you on that rainy day in New Farm Park. When something hasn't gone to plan, remember how far we have come together and how resilient we are. Remember where we spent nearly two years apart. Celebrate, enjoy, and be present in the moment in the entire day's process. Smile, laugh, dance, celebrate. I love you from Bobby. To my handsome groom, 10 years ago, I never realized what an incredible journey we were embarking on together. I never would have believed that the 16-year-old boy with shaggy hair and a goofy smile would grow into the strong, hard-working and loving man that will be waiting for me at the altar. I never dreamed that I would find someone who challenged me to see the world in the way that you do. A man who makes me laugh and love flawlessly. A man who even after years together still gives me fluffs when he walks through the door. You remind me every single day to dream bigger, work harder, and to open my heart to the possibilities of this beautiful life. You are truly amazing. You have made me immeasurably happy, Bobby Howe. I promise to continue to be your best friend, the secret keeper, and the laugh to you cry you have come to love over the past 10 years. And yes, there will always be spontaneous dance parties in our home, which is wherever you are. You are my everything, and I can't wait to call you my husband. To my son, a little advice for the future. It's been an ab absolute pleasure to be your father, and I couldn't be prouder if I tried. As a father, you always want your son to be better than yourself. Well, I'm here to say you are. Born on the first day of spring, Caitlin Rose was a very special gift. From the moment she opened her brown eyes, she had everyone wrapped around a little finger. Hey! Nothing in the last 26 years could have prepared me for the feelings both me and Belinda felt today. Seeing Caitlin all dressed up as a beautiful bride. Walking her down the aisle and giving her away was one of the proudest moments of my life. Bobby and Caitlin, the church warmly welcomes you together with your family and friends. As today in the presence of God our Father, you establish between yourselves a partnership of the whole of your life. I, Robert, take you, Caitlin, to be my wife. I promise to be faithful to you in the good times, in the bad, in sickness and in health, and to love you and to honour you all the days of my life. I, Caitlin, take you, Robert, to be my husband. I promise to be faithful to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, and to love and to honour you in all the days of my life.
Caitlin, receive this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And let's offer them our heartiest congratulations. G'day guys, the proposal went well, Caitlin said yes, the wedding's gone well, she said I do, and now we got all these people here, get up and make some noise! remember a very nervous Bobby with a bouquet of flowers in his hand sitting in the back seat of our little Yaris as we pulled into the Castorina's driveway to pick up Caitlin for one of their first dates to the Lucinda Hotel for dinner. Caitlin quickly became a member of our family. She was introduced to American sports, holidays, and food. Bobby was introduced to camping, fishing, learning about breaks on a boat, Yes, he thought there was brakes on a boat. I remember the first time Caitlin took Bobby home to meet us. I had my wife and Caitlin telling me to be nice, don't say anything, give him a go. What did they think I was going to say? After all the subtle hints that my wife was giving you, you finally asked her to marry you. You have made Caitlin a happy woman than she is today. Never stop going the extra mile for one another. When you feel yourself getting too comfortable and complacent, remember that quote. Spice things up, do small things for one another, and always remind the other how much you love them. May your love be like the wind, strong enough to move the clouds, soft enough to never hurt, but always never ending. To love, laughter, and happily ever after. The last 10 years have been an incredible adventure and I'm so lucky to have spent them with you. But I can't wait to see where life takes us together in the future. Ma and Dad, I could stand here and thank them for hours tonight, but I'm gonna thank them for one thing. Showing me how to love, respect, and treat a woman so that I can stand here today next to my lovely wife. You guys showed me how our loving relationship works, how to overcome the tough times, how to respect a woman, and how to be a man in a relationship. These are all such truly valuable things that I've learned from both of you. And they have allowed me to become the man I am today and why I get the absolute pleasure of marrying such an amazing young woman. Speaking of that amazing young woman, Caitlin, I still remember 10 years ago on the 17th of September, sitting on the back deck of Emma Watts' house on a Friday night at a party when I asked you to be my girlfriend, and you of course said yes. I bet at that moment, um, neither of us knew that it would lead to us standing here together 10 years later as husband and wife. That little moment now seems pretty huge, and there have been so many other little moments that I've gotten to share with you over that time that have been the best moments of my life. This one here today though takes the cake.